Tilikum. Born December 1981 died January 6, 2017. Nicknamed Tilly, was a captive killer whale who spent most of his life performing at SeaWorld Orlando. He was captured in Iceland in 1983 at Hofnerfjordr, near Reykjavik. About a year later, he was transferred to Sealand of the Pacific in Victoria, British Columbia. He was subsequently transferred in 1992 to SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida. He sired 21 calves, of which 9 are still alive as of 2021. Tillicum was heavily featured in CNN Films' 2013 documentary Blackfish, which claims that killer whales in captivity suffer psychological damage and become unnaturally aggressive. Tillicum was involved in the deaths of three people, Kelty Byrne, a trainer at the now-defunct Sealand of the Pacific, Daniel Dukes, a man trespassing in SeaWorld Orlando, and SeaWorld trainer Don Burn Show. Description Tillicum was the largest killer whale in captivity. He measured 22.5 feet, 6.9 meters, long and weighed about 12,500 pounds, 5,700 kilograms. His pectoral fins were 7 feet, 2.1 meters, long, his fluke curled under, and his 6.5 foot tall, 2.0 meters, dorsal fin was collapsed completely to his left side. In the Chinook jargon of the Pacific Northwest, his name means friends, relations, tribe, nation, common people. Origin of Tilikum Tilikum was captured when he was two years old, along with two other young killer whales, by a purse sane net in November 1983, at Berufjörther, Iceland. After almost a year in a tank at the Hofnerfjörder Marine Zoo, he was transferred to Sealand of the Pacific, in Oak Bay, a suburb of the city of Victoria on Vancouver Island, Canada. At Sealand, he lived with two older female killer whales named Haida II and Nutka IV. As a result of their matriarchal social structure, Tilikum was abused by Haida II and Nutka IV who behaved aggressively towards him, including forcing him into a smaller medical pool where trainers kept him for protection. Fatalities While killer whale attacks on humans in the wild are rare, and no fatal attacks have been recorded, as of 2019 four humans have died due to interactions with captive killer whales. Tilikum was involved in three of those deaths. First death. On February 20, 1991, Kelty Byrne, a 21-year-old marine biology student and competitive swimmer, slipped and fell into the pool containing Tilikum, Haida II, and Nutka IV while working as a part-time trainer at Sealand of the Pacific. The three whales submerged her, dragging her around the pool and preventing her from surfacing. At one point, she reached the side and tried to climb out, but the whales pulled her back into the pool. Other trainers threw her a life ring, but the animals kept her away from it, ignoring the trainers' recall commands. She surfaced three times before drowning, and it was several hours before her body could be recovered from the pool. Tilikum was moved to SeaWorld Orlando on January 9, 1992. Sealand of the Pacific closed soon afterward. Second death On July 6, 1999, a 27-year-old man, Daniel P. Dukes, was found dead over Tilikum's back in his sleeping pool. Dukes had visited SeaWorld the previous day, stayed after the park closed, and evaded security to enter the tank unclothed. An autopsy found numerous wounds, contusions, and abrasions covering his body, and his genitals had been bitten off, all allegedly caused by Tilikum. Despite numerous cameras around and inside the pool that are supposed to monitor the well-being of the whales, SeaWorld claims the event was not captured. The autopsy concluded that Duke's cause of death was drowning. The medical examiner reports that no drugs or alcohol were found in Duke's system. Third death. Donburn Show. On February 24, 2010, Tilikum killed Don Burn Show, a 40-year-old trainer. Burn Show was killed following a dine with Shamu Show. The veteran trainer was rubbing Tilikum as part of a post-show routine when the killer whale grabbed her by her ponytail and pulled her into the water. Some witnesses reported seeing Tilikum grab Burn Show by the arm or shoulder. 
He reportedly scalped her then bit off her arm and swallowed it during the attack. Brinchot's autopsy indicated death by drowning and blunt force trauma. Offsprings Tillicum had 21 offspring in captivity, nine of which were alive as of July 2021. While at Sealand of the Pacific, Tillicum sired his first calf when he was about eight or nine years old. His first son, Kaiukit, was born to Haida II on December 24, 1991. Just a few months prior to the birth of Kaiukit, Tillicum was involved in the first incident involving a death. SeaWorld requested an emergency transfer of Tillicum to their facility. Following his arrival at SeaWorld, Tillicum sired many calves with many different females. His first calf born in Orlando was to Katina. Katina gave birth to Taku on September 9, 1993. Taku died on October 17, 2007. Among Tillicum's other calves are, Nyar, born 1993, died 1996, Una, 1996-2015, Summer, 1998-2010, Tuar, 1999, Tokoa, 2000, Nakai, 2001, Kohana, 2002, Ika Ika, 2002, Skyla, 2004 to 2021, Malia, 2007, Sakari, 2010, and Makayo, 2010. In 1999, Tilikum began training for artificial insemination, AI. In early 2000, Kasatka who resided at SeaWorld San Diego was artificially inseminated using his sperm. She gave birth to Tilikum's son, Nakai, on September 1, 2001. On May 3, 2002, another female in San Diego, named Takara, bore Tilikum's calf through artificial insemination. Tilikum was also the first successful, surviving grandfather Orca in captivity with the births of Trua, 2005, Nalani, 2006, Adan, 2010, and Victoria, 2012-2013. Declining health and death. SeaWorld announced in March 2016 Tillicum's health was deteriorating, and it was thought he had a lung infection due to bacterial pneumonia, a common cause of death in captive and wild whales and dolphins. In May 2016, it was reported Tillicum's health was improving. On January 6, 2017, SeaWorld announced that Tillicum had died early in the morning. The cause of death was reported as a bacterial infection.